What's going on, everybody? It's week 13 of the fantasy football season. I'm Mike Mattal, bringing you a special episode of Fantasy Couch, where we take a look back at all the crazy and exciting things that happened in 2011. Now, week nine was our special Halloween episode where Melissa was a both naughty and nice character on the set of Fantasy Couch. Take a look. Ow! <laughs> okay. Oh, I fell. <laughs> we had a really good time filming that week's episode of The Couch. Now, if you missed it, go back and take a look, because trust me, you won't want to miss it. Now, for these next clips, let's just say we got a kick out of filming. Wow, now those heads really clear the uprights. Now for week 11 of The Couch, we debuted our sexy female correspondent, Marge Says. Bueno, pero he's bad against the Baltimore Ravens week 12. And then we have Anton the... An oh, <laughs> now this season of Fantasy Couch had a special guest appearance by one of my favorite basketball players, Sacramento King Tyreek Evans, and his diminutive sidekick, Little Easy. <laughs> Just don't look in his eyes. Yeah, I just look. I just look right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little more comfortable with them now. All right. All right let me get in the zone. I'm a Niners fan at heart. Take off the jersey. <laughs> I'm not gonna take we off the jersey. don't play that, man. Take off the jersey. I'm not gonna take off the jersey. I'm about to hit you with the ball. Take off the jersey. I'm wearing a bra underneath. Oh, you can come over here. Got the hot tub all ready to go. But let me call you back. Got interview, okay? I'll call you back. I'll call you back. With the with the food. With the food. The takeout swag. Takeout swag. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is Mike Mattal signing off. Believe it or not, Mike used to host the show back in the day. Even before we had Fantasy Couch, we used to do these videos for fun. We love giving out advice so much, we decided to make a website one day. And now we got FantasyCouch.com. But enough of that. Here are the waivers for week 13. I had to dig real deep to get you guys some waivers this week. I don't even like most of the guys on my own list. But here are the five waiver pickups that I actually do like. The Patriots defense. They face the Colts this week. Pick them up. Start them. Matt Moore, he's a talented a quarterback, but I would not start him unless you absolutely have to. Um, he has some good matchups, but Week 17, I would not start him against the Jets if you guys even play Week 17 in your league. Kyle Orton, check to see if he's going to start. He'll be decent in Kansas City. David Nelson, this guy hasn't picked up in enough leagues. you got to start him, especially with Donald Jones hurt. Brad Smith on the same team on the Buffalo Bills. This guy's good in deep leagues. If you're in a 16-man league, good pickup. Now, the waiver wire pickups that I don't like as much. Andy Dalton. He's a good start week 15 against the Rams and week 16 against the Cardinals. Rex Grossman, very underrated guy. Only owned in 1 out of 10 leagues. But uh, be careful week 13 as they face the Jets. Start Christian Ponder week 13 versus Denver if you already have him on your team. Um, Vince Young might be a good pickup. Check Vic's status. I think he's not going to play this week with a short week coming. Donald Brown, good pickup. Shane Vereen, if you're in a really deep league or if you're in a keeper slash dynasty league, that could work out. When I say deep, I mean deep, like 16 men or, or uh, deeper. Harry Douglas, this guy's an okay pickup. And my last waiver wire pickup for week 13, Reggie Wayne. Facing one of the worst defenses in the league, especially against the wide receiver position. And that's all the time we have this week. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Ask us any questions you want at Fantasy Couch. And like us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash FB Fantasy Couch. We're trying to get a thousand likes like today. Make it happen, please. See you guys next week. Hello, fellow. <laughs> Wow, now those heads really do <laughs> the uprights. Dude, I can't say that. Okay, doing some sound effects. Okay, so the uh, Transformers um, dancing. <laughs>
Mike Vick? Well, it's who we thought he was. That's why he drafted him early. Now, if you want to start him, then start his ass. But he was who he thought he was. And draft him anyway. Well, that's it. <laughs>